Hey everyone, how's it going? I just wanted to talk about a bait that I've kind of fallen in love with here over the last couple weeks. Jackal Sestecki Craw. Well, don't shoot me some nasty messages or comments or whatever if I didn't pronounce it right. Jackal's got all these funny names for all their baits, but anyway, I've absolutely fallen in love with this plastic and I think it's probably one of the best plastics I've ever used for flipping. Um, basically has everything I've been looking for in a, in a plastic flipping bait. First off, it's a really nice, durable, tough, it, you know, it's not hard where your hook doesn't go through it or anything. It's designed absolutely perfect. It's nice and firm up in the head and in the body, but when you skin hook it, you absolutely get a great hook set. So no worries about that. Two nice big craws on it. Flapping, flapping claws. You split them apart like that. Now these little arms right here, they're attached. Now when I'm flipping more open water, I'll go ahead and split those off. Gives you a little bit more action. What you'll also notice is that this bait isn't round. Kind of like an egg shaped design. What that allows you to do when you rig it like this on a flipping hook you'll see it doesn't actually sit straight on the hook it actually has a little bit of a curve to it and what that does because it's kind of like a flat on either side of it and skinnier and then flat is it almost falls like a tube jig if you put a light enough weight on it like a quarter ounce uh, bullet weight or a little less and it'll fall like a tube jig and just kind of do one of these down to the bottom and I've had a lot of strikes in more open water spaced out scattered weeds and stuff like that uh, deep rocks and stuff had a lot of success on the original fall uh, fishing it that way it was designed for punching I believe um, with a really heavy you know half ounce one ounce ounce and a half two ounce weight and thick thick mat works absolutely awesome for that the shape of the head your your one ounce weight will just sit on top of that or one and a half or whatever and you'll see when you hang that upside down the shape of that just allows it to slip through the thickest of cover you don't have to worry about any appendages getting hung up or not falling through your thick thick grass and this is basically how it sits like that I've only got a 3 8 on this, so I'm not flipping heavy, heavy cover today, but. So this is on a more traditional wide gap hook. And you'll see how perfectly straight that sits. And the weight just sits nice to that rounded front body. So again, when I'm pulling that through grass or whatnot, because that's round, my weight butt right up to it. I'm not getting any grass stuck in there weeds or anything like that and it just slides through the cover just absolutely phenomenal and then of course those craws flap at the back but yeah it's absolutely awesome and it's nice to finally get a, a flipping bait that I can flip for a while and even catch a few fish on continue to use it and you know not just catch a sunfish or a rock bass or something and then have to discard my bait because I caught a rock bass or a a little pan fish it really is durable um, the bass really do like it of course it's got that jackal scent in it like all the great jackal plastics have so I'm sure if you give it a try you'll love it it's absolutely phenomenal I also was using it on the back of a jig it worked really well for that now what I use for a flipping jig usually um, in these waters here in Ontario especially the more northern lakes is a mini flipping jig it still has a full like 66 strand uh, count on the jig. It's just got a little bit smaller hook, a little bit smaller, shorter profile. Because of the shorter profile, a little shorter hook, all I do is I, I cut this off here just a little bit, uh, maybe about there. And when I use my scissors in the boat, I just follow a line like, you know, like so and cut it a little bit rounded. And then once you do that, because this is so flat, even though these big flappers are on here, I think because these, this is so flat, 
it actually skips really well under docks and trees and stuff like that. I didn't think it would be very good for skipping, but it actually does skip pretty well considering the size of the, the flapping craws on it. So give it a chance, guys. I'm sure you'll love it. This here is a, a green kind of color with a bit of a blue fleck in it. Beautiful color. I tell you the color, but uh, my package for some reason doesn't have the color on it. So I don't want to tell you the exact wrong color. I'll post it in the comments down below the uh, colors that are available. Maybe put up a picture at the end of this video. This here, of course, is black and blue. They do come in a five inch size. This is the four inch. I've done well on both sizes. Um, you can use a 4 aught or a 5 aught hook. Um, I tend to use a 4 aught for the wide gap. It tends to work well for the hook I'm using. And a 5 aught definitely for the 5 inch size. And in a flipping hook, I use the 5 aught flipping hook for the 4 inch also in the thick, thick mat. So anyway, thanks a lot guys. Check it out. It's a great bait. I'm sure you'll catch lots of bass on it. Thanks a lot. Have fun. Another nice jackal fish. Fat that one is. Yeah. Oh, a nice fish. It's a tiki craw. See that right there, guys? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Catch a nice fish like that, and the bait's good to use again. Not only does it save me time, also saves me money. So that's great. Instead of having to go in there, get out another plastic, or in my pocket, get out another plastic, re-rig it all. I'm all ready to go. I just straightened it up here on the front and I'm good to go through there to skin hook it again. Good to go for another nice fish. See that guys, that was another fish. Same craw as the last one. I've been fishing it for I've been fishing for quite a while, but same craw as last one. Good to go for another fish. So if you're keeping count, that's three fish, one craw. I'm good to go for another one.
choked it. Not a huge fish, but I'll take those any day. It's a techie craw. Fourth fish, one craw. Not too shabby. Yep, time for a new one. Really can't complain though. I mean, four four bass on one plastic craw. You just don't get that too often, really. Ah. Told you guys the Sateki craw caught big bass. Check that baby out. <laughs> 